Mason post game. Bob Lorenz, John Flaherty with you in studio as the Yanks fall in the nightcap of the doubleheader. Five to three. Could have been a doubleheader sweep. Great comeback there in the, ninth, in the seventh inning, but uh, the pitching just coming up short for the Yanks. Yeah, if you're the Yankees, you appreciate the comeback and you feel good about that. But there are games as a major league team that you walk up to the clubhouse afterwards and you think, you know what, we got beat in that game. Game two of this doubleheader is not one of those. The Yankee pitching staff walking nine, hitting one batter, just totally setting up the Rays for opportunities to score runs. A bloop base hit drove in two, a ground ball to third base that was hit hard that Urshela could not field that drove in too so you feel like you gave this game to the Rays instead of them beating you all right let's bring in Jack Curry now and Jack yeah those nine walks were a dagger for the Yankees pitchers today they were Aaron Judge comes within a few feet of perhaps tying this game late but you look at what the Yankees did in game one they had power they had a powerful and taxing start from Cole but they win it and as you said Bob they're in position to potentially get a sweep and Flash could not have emphasized that point anymore. Not only nine walks and one hit batter, but those first eight walks all came with two outs. So if you want to talk about the frustration of walking batters, when you do it with two outs, that just heightens the frustration even more. And you're just putting yourself into a minefield where you're tiptoeing around each inning with so many runners on base. And the Yankees ended up gift wrapping a lot of opportunities for the Rays. And the Rays swiped a game that the Yankees, as Flash said, probably feel